Right folks, uh, Thursday morning, uh, six minutes past eight. I'm on my way to Eccleshaw, to the Dave State factory to uh, pick up the uh, Dave State uh, Airwolf that went back in for uh, a reprogram. Uh, time is going to take me to get there is around one hour 12 minutes, it's 54 miles away. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how accurate these sat navs are. <laughs> uh, right, so uh, let's see if I uh, want to get it back, we can get some good uh, testing done with the rifle. So uh, let's get on with the journey. Right, just uh, just arrived at Day State. Been here now in, in three different cars. I always have the same problem with the sat nav. You'll get within about 30 mile of the place, and then satellite sat sat navs have a tendency to send you down all the little single track roads. A bit of a nightmare. Quite seen it though, but uh, right up until that point, you're like, on like 70 mile an hour roads. Um, it's sent me three different ways and they all end up just as bad, so uh, at least I'm here. Okay then, with the uh, majority of the Daystate electronic rifles, and this is one of them, the uh, Daystate Airwolf MCT. Make sure that the rifle's not loaded, make sure that the rifle's set to safe, and that's with the actual button down. Now, to cycle through the programs, you basically put your figure on the trigger, and you've made sure that the gun's pointing in the safe place, and it's uh, in the safe position. Turn on and the rifle will cycle through the different programs while keeping the finger on the trigger. When you get to your appropriate program, you take the finger off the trigger and then you'll be able to set each of the uh, programs to what you want them to be. So on this particular program, we have got nine different stages by the looks of this. Uh, if you take your finger off the trigger now, that's reset to defaults. Switched it off. Now for the <clears throat> resetting of the shot counter. Enter the program mode, wait for the gun to beep and blink twice. Display the reshot counter. Release the trigger and the shot counter is now reset and the gun is ready for firing. Okay, so that's your magazine. That was your two beeps. That was your shot counter. <clears throat> it's 
stage three, three beeps, uh, that is the active pressure. So, finger on the trigger, one, two, Stage four, wait for the gun to bleed four times, and this is setting the power. Uh, so you release the trigger, uh, pull the trigger to toggle between on and off power modes. So uh, my power is two, let's see what we can see. Power that's high to two power, high power. Well, I'll keep it on high because it's 12 foot pan. Let's just see, I'll go back to stage three, see active pressure. So that is on the third beep. So we've got 200 bar. If you notice now, no, no magazine's been fired. <clears throat> okay then, that was stage four for the power. Lighting options, uh, that is uh, stage five. Basically entering the program mode, wait for the gun to beat five times, display the lighting options, release the trigger, pull the trigger to select between on time of 10 seconds display and on continuously and uh, display off so there's three options on that and that is on five light options on time for 10 continuously and off so i'll go i might go uh on for 10 seconds, it's safe power, that's all. I'll leave it on that. Obviously I turned it off, but you can see it works. So that is for the uh, on-screen display. Brightness mode on and off, continuous or off all, all the time. This one will be the stage six, and that's turning on and off the magazine counter. Wait for the beep, blink six times, display the mag count on and off, release the trigger, pull the trigger to toggle between on and off. So, magazines might be a good option actually because you can work out how many magazines you've got until you're getting towards uh, when you need to fill the rifle up, and they're going to get lots of pellets through it before then. So that is uh, stage six. Off, on, off, keep it on. <clears throat> okay, stage seven. And this one is entering the mode and wait for the gun to beep and blink seven times. Display S shot on and off. Release the trigger and the gun is now in single shot mode. Pull the trigger and select between the single shot rem reminder mode. When set to on, the safety catch needs to be reapplied after each shot. The rif rifle will beep and click as a reminder. So that is seven. Off, on, off. I use a magazine, I'm not using single shot, but uh, I could do it if I wanted to. Right, low pressure warning is stage eight, so that's eight beeps. Uh, release the trigger, and the gun is now in low pressure warning mode. 
Do not pull the trigger again to leave low pressure warning off. Pull the trigger, first pull enters 50 bar, each subsequent pull adds one bar. Set the safety switch to safe. <clears throat> the low pressure warning is now set. The rifle will give an audible chirp when the pressure drops below this pressure, which is a great little uh, thing to look at because if you're not always looking at your pressure on the rifle, on the manometer, this will uh, basically give you a warning. So let's go to uh, 8 and see if it's already set or not. So press the trigger. Okay, set to no bar at the moment, 50, 51. I'll go to 70 bar. <clears throat> right, the last uh, setting then, the gun to default, so I've already done that to start off with. So uh, if you go to section 9, you can reset to factory default, so uh, you should all be okay now. So that is the MCT or Map Compensator Technology on the Daystate Airwolf. Alright, another benefit of having an electronic rifle is the fact that it is electronic. Because you can basically switch the rifle off by turning the key. And now the rifle cannot be used because the electronics are deactivated. So uh, instead of having a trigger lock, you just turn the rifle off. Charging the rifle is another simple thing to do. Basically, it comes with a plug and an adapter that just plugs into the rifle, plug it into a socket, and power up with the uh, with the normal electricity line. So that's how you charge it, that's how you switch it on and off. Like I say, if you've got kids in the house or you want to make it extra safe when it's locked away, just turn your rifle off and it can't be used. As you can see on uh, the Daystate Airwolves, uh, these are around nine years old now and they all came with a steel steel air, air bottle now you can get the carbon fiber air tanks and i dare say you will be able to get a uh, carbon bottle to fit this as well which i might get eventually uh, these had a a barrel band and uh, ring for the bottle as well triggers on these electronic rifles are lovely triggers uh, they operate like a normal trigger would but instead of breaking a sear to release the, uh, the actual hammer, these basically activate a solenoid that opens up a valve. So the uh, one of the benefits you get from that is a faster lock time and no movement because there's no hammer moving forward by spring pressure. So uh, you should get more accuracy based on that uh, actually. Another good point to an electronic rifle. Okay then, uh, filling the rifle is quite simple. You'll find underneath there's a little magnetic cover. Just pull that out and there's a foster fitting underneath which you can attach an air tank to or a compressor or a stirrup pump but I wouldn't advise that because you need a lot of uh, air to fill a, an air bottle. It's, uh, four or five hundred uh, mil big so you basically fit your air tank to it I'm going to fill to 200 bar basically fill it to your 200 bar bleed the air off then release the actual uh, fitting. 
Now on later models and especially on some of the brake holes, Foster fitting is quite a way in so they do have an extended reach adapter that will fit on there but this one does fit, there's plenty of room on this one to be honest and that's all there is to it, the rifle's full As you'd expect, the triggers on these rifles are fully adjustable, like on any other match trigger. Uh, you can adjust the uh, angle of this trigger shoe as well on this one to uh, match your finger. So, uh, triggers are perfect. So, you can set the trigger to light or as heavy as you want. Okay, <clears throat> looking at the breech area. You've got the option of using a single shot loader or the magazine. Single shot loaders, got two magnets underneath and pins on one end. So basically, put it over and it just slots in like that. Then you can lay the bolt forward for your single shots. Using the magazine provided, 10 shot magazine in uh, 177 and 22. On the magazines, they've got also got a magnet on and they've also got a pin. Depending on which side the pin is uh, located, depends on which side you load the rifle from. On this pin, it's on the left hand side, so it basically means you've got to load from the right. So it basically it gets pushed on the side like that. So it goes in and the magnet locates in place and you can see the pin on the side stops it going any further. What problem you can have with some rifles is if you've got a wheel uh, on the side for your parallax wheel you can't always uh, load a magazine in with that so what you can do is relocate the pin on that side and you can then load from the right hand side of the rifle uh, you could do this yourself uh, we could uh, get one sent from day state to load from the uh, right to left rather than uh, left to right when loading the magazines you put your pellets in and you basically recycle like that. If you want to come back on yourself, there's a little pin underneath and that uh, resets the, uh, the wheel. But that's the magazines and that's, uh, that's the same magazine on all the models. Although they've now come out with a new type of magazine where the front, uh, instead of loading in through there, the front cover comes down, you just load individually and put the cover back up. Same again with uh, these rifles. All you're doing this, when you're pulling the pro back, you're basically loading your pallet. It's not cocking any hammer spring or anything. So uh, really straightforward. So you switch your power on, but it's not on now because I've actually switched the rifle off with the key. So that just shows you that it can't be used unless you uh, insert a key. So that switches the rifle on. So I say the rifle can now be switched on. I can pull, like I say, the pro back's not actually cocking anything, but what you will find, the trigger will fire, there's nothing in the rifle so you've got to be aware of that it will fire every time you pull the trigger so uh, must be aware of that so that is basically the electronic Daystate Airwolf and it goes the same for all the other electronic rifles as well they're all running very much the same way the later rifles might have a different program system, but uh, 
especially the uh, Delta Wolf, but uh, they're all very much the same in the way they operate. Right, got H&M Barcuda Delight, no, 9.57 grains. grains. Got the Airwolf back from Day State, it's been reprogrammed, new battery. Big thanks to uh, Simon Cocaine, and a big, big thanks to Professor Jack here that's sitting beside me who gave me the rifle for the channel. Thanks Jack. <laughs> so I've got a target set up at 40 yards, and we'll see how she's going to shoot. Uh, top left. Eleven point three. Eleven point four. Eleven point three. Eleven point three. Eleven point three. Eleven point one. Eleven point two. Eleven point three. Eleven point one. Eleven point zero. I think that could be it. Yeah. So, go to feet per second. Standard deviation is 3.7, spread of 14. Okay, then spin a frame. Seven hundred thirty five. Seven hundred twenty four. Oh, you've got. I'm going to ask wind and You've got such a distance. You've got a variation of wind. What's happening here? Seven hundred twenty eight. Yeah, what's the problem? The time it's traveled there, you've got into Walsall. So. Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, the indoor shooting, it cuts all that shit out, don't oh, it? Oh, it down. Oh, oh. Outdoor. But is that shooting? 726. You've got to take the window. It's a same if you play golf. Yeah. You know, up in where I was brought up in the green up Scotland. Come up with the clay. 726. No, I am not joking. The wind, 60 mile an hour. 728. 10 yards, one mil dot. I went and made a cup of coffee and come back and it was still waiting on it coming down. Unbelievable. 719. 726. I wouldn't go out of bed for that. <laughs> 728. Yeah. Yeah. I'll look at my bill shot. It's right smack by in the middle, John. 
26. 728. 733. 731. 726. 728. 721. 728. 721. 724. That's shooting spot on. It's like half inch groups at 50. Good, that's one, isn't it? Yeah, really good. I don't know what the slug would be like. I'll find out now. Well, they're going to look to with that uh, latest video. 600. Hey. 10. You know your latest video? Yeah. The, uh, what is it, Enigma, you were shooting? Yeah. It looks a bit awkward to blow things. It can be, yeah. It's it's a straight pull it bolt it? system on it. Is it? Uh, yeah. There's like a, like a lever on it that unlocks it, and then you pull it back. Yeah. Push it forward, but it seems like Using the magazines on the second shot, I was getting quite a few stoppages. Weren't actually uh, cycling. It looked, uh, it looked painful to, to push forward. <laughs> it can be, yeah, it can be. Six hundred eight. Right, these are dropping by. One and a half mil dot nearly. Well, just every mil dot. Six hundred three five hundred ninety eight six hundred eight everything else is five hundred ninety four six hundred five. 598 605 This might be the last one I'll go for spinner target with this one 603 So looking at the slugs Got a low of 594, now high of 610. 610 would be 10.74 foot pounds. So there's more friction going along the barrel. So there's more surface here on a slug. But it does retain the energy better than the pellet, even so. Group size about one inch at 40 yards. Not too bad. So you got your health balance, you will flop the charges for the shoes. It took me about 14 shots. Is it 13 on the other one? No, top right. These are what the tune and we're at the factory and we're getting pretty good results with 11 and a half foot pounds.
Go for ah, I think you mentioned bottom you right. Yeah. Target. Be a bit careful. Lots of uh, varieties so of pellets and slugs. So I'll ring that number, <coughs> and if they're bad, I'll go and have a look. So the last thing we'll do, I'll shoot at the. I think I'm wise enough to know. Yeah. Join yeah, entry. I don't know where. Yeah. Really well. Very pleased. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. It's brilliant. We're happy with it. Really good, yeah. 50 yards being in the Julian tree every time. Well, there you go, that's the one you've been in. I was going to say, if we can. They're all an inch or less, aren't they? The target's on that. So, if you knock your rabbits over it, 50 yards, no problem all day long. It's what I've been saying from the guns that you're using, they're like projects, like you know, but this is a proper gun. Yeah. It shows off your proper shooting. That's right. And that helps them in there. It's what you're paying for at the end of the day, isn't it? To begin with. Yeah. When you read some of the comments, the thing, can you shoot a lot? No record of Even I've had wild man coming back and we said, uh, yeah, I said, hey, you're underestimating, I said, he's using projects, he's using guns that somebody else might not even be able to hit a target with, never mind what he's doing with. I says, wait, he gets a proper gun and then you'll see how good he is. I've been defending you quite a lot, the people that's been emailing me, the wild man, as I was saying, but, um, uh, I know what, what I keep saying, what goes uh, around no, comes around, mentioned. now you can prove it, you can shoot. Uh, and there's a smile on your face now, you'll be able to enjoy your shooting now. Yeah. 
I mean, I've you know, it's, it's never really been able to afford a top end gun, so. Yeah. Well, what I tend to do is well, model what yeah, I get. So well, I'll do it soon for projects. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, but now you're at the level where you, where you are now, you're probably even improving your shooting. Well, you've only just got this as your first proper yeah, shoot. Actually, yeah. you don't get the movement like you do on a mechanical yeah. rifle with the hammer spring being shoved forward. That will create, yeah. create time and it will also create movement. Yeah. Right. But with these, well, because it's electronic trigger, it's instant, it's so it's a quick lock We've time. There's not yeah, so much movement, so that's well. where you benefit. That looks brilliant anyway, it really does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this yeah. is yeah. what... Yeah, well, they will... <clears throat> 